Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at the 2021 Higher Level Maths Paper 1, question 3. So this is an area and volume type question. So we have a cuboid here with dimensions x, y and z and we're given the area of each face as well. So for example, x times z will give us 2 root 2, y times z was, will give us 8 root 6 and x times y will give us 4 root 3. So we have to find the volume of the cuboid in the form a root b cubic centimeters where a and b are natural numbers. I'm just going to write down the three equations uh, for the area of each face. So let's have a look first at x times z. That'll give us 2 root 2. Uh, let's look at x times y. That'll give us 4 root 3. And the other one then is y times z which will give us 8 root 6. So these are my three equations that I'm going to use. I'm going to do a kind of simultaneous equations by substitution here to find x, y and z and then uh, find the volume. So let's start with, uh, let's say the first one here. I'm going to look at x times z is 2 root 2. So let's get x on its own. That's 2 root 2 over z. Let's substitute that into our second equation. So that will give us 2 root 2 over z times y is equal to 4 root 3. Uh, we can divide by this term here. So that will give us y is equal to 4 root 3 multiplied by, remember this is a fraction, so I'm going to flip it upside down and multiply. So multiplied by z divided by 2 root 2. That will give me y is equal to, well let's have a look, we have 2 will divide into 4 twice, so we're left with 2 root 3 over root 2 times z. So finally now I'm going to just substitute this here, which is y in here. So that will give me, let's see, 2 root 3 divided by root 2 times z times another z is equal to 8 root 6. So that gives me, well, let me see, I have a z squared here anyway on this side. Just move that over a little bit. I have a z squared here on this side. I'm going to divide by this fraction here again. So I'm going to take my 8 root 6. I'm going to multiply by this fraction flipped upside down, which is root 2 over 2 root 3. Okay, I can simplify all of that. I've got z squared, remember, here. First of all, 2 will divide into 8 four times. So I've got 4 there anyway. Uh, I've got root 2 times root 6, that's root 12. And I've got a root 3 on the bottom here. I've got z squared here is equal to 4 times. Uh, remember here we've got a root 12 divided by root 3. Really that's root 12 over 3. So, I mean you can combine it like this, 12 over 3 if you like. So that's 4 times the square root of 4 the square root of 4 here, which is 2, and 2 fours give me 8. Okay, so I have z squared is equal to 8. So that will give me um, z is equal to the square root of 8, which is 2 root 2. Okay, so I finally got z. So what I'm going to do now is just substitute that back in here to find y. So I'm just going to come back up here now. So that'll give me y is equal to 2 root 3 divided by root 2 times multiplied by 2 root 2 over 1 if you like. So let's see what that'll give me. Um, that root 2 will divide into that root 2 there. And we've got two 2's are 4. So we end up with 4 root 3. So y is equal to uh, 4 root 3. Okay, finally then we can, or not quite finally, but our final letter here, we've got to work out what x is. So let's come up along here now. So we have x is equal to 2 root 2 over z. So that will give me x is equal to 2 root 2. We've got to divide that by z. Remember z is uh, 2 root 2. z is equal to 2 root 2. That gives me x is equal to 1. So I found um, x here. I found y here. And I found z down here. So these are our three dimensions. Now the question says find the volume. I'm just going to do that here. So the volume 
is going to be length times width times height, so it's going to be 1 times 4 root 3 times 2 root 2. That'll give me 4 times 2, which is 8, and root 3 times root 2 is root 6. And that is volume, so that's going to be centimeters cubed. So our question was find the volume of the cuboid, find the volume of the cuboid in the form a root b, where a and b are natural numbers, and I can see here that um, our 8 and 6 are both natural numbers. So that's the answer to part A. Let's have a look at part B now, part B1 and 2. Okay, so let me see. We have given a function f of x equal to 3x squared plus 8x minus 35, where x is an element of r. Find the two roots of f of x equal to 0. Okay, so this is a very simple question. This is really easy marks here, I think. So let's have a look. We have f of x is equal to 0, so we have 3x squared plus 8x minus 35 equal to 0, and we've just got to solve this. There are loads of different ways of solving this. I like to just look at it and do it, and if that doesn't work, then use the quadratic formula or the minus b formula. But there are loads of other ways. Whichever way works for you is fine. So let's have a look. We have um, a 3x squared. So that's just going to be 3x times x. And out here we have a 35. So we take 35, that can be 1 times 35. Uh, it can be 5 times 5, 5 7 is 35. Um, and that's it. So it looks like it's going to be um, 5 times 7. If I put the 5 there and the 7 there, it should work. If I look at that, that gives me a 7, that gives me a 15. I can get an 8 from a 7 and a 15, so that's fine. Now remember I need a minus 35 here, so that means I've got to put plus and minus here. So the larger one here should be plus, and the larger one here is 15, so I'm going to put the plus here and the minus there. So that will give me 3x minus 7 equal to 0, that gives me x is equal to 7 over 3, or x plus 5 equal to 0, that gives me x is equal to minus 5. So there are my two answers. Okay, um, now in the next question it says hence or otherwise. Now usually when they say hence here it means you've done something already that's useful. So the, this result here must be useful in this question. So let's have a look. Solve this equation here. So we have 3 to the power of 2m plus 1 uh, is equal to 35 minus 8 times 3 to the power of m. Okay, so you've got to recognize that this is a similar equation to the one that we had above. Let me just rearrange it here first. So we have 3 to the power of 2m plus 1 uh, plus 8 times 3 to the power of m and minus 35 equal to 0. Now our equation up here is 3x squared plus 8x minus 35. So our equation up above was 3x squared plus 8x minus 35 equal to 0. And we worked out x was equal to 7 over 3 and minus 5. So what we've got to do is just rearrange this here and substitute in something here for 3 to the power of m. So let's have a look how we would go about doing that. This 3 to the power of 2m plus 1 can be broken down using uh, the laws of indices in reverse, if you like. So we've got 3 to the power of 2m times 3. That'll give us, you know, if you add the powers here, that'll give you 3 to the power of 2m plus 1. And you can break this bit here down as well. You can call that 3 to the power of m squared times 3 then. So this here can just be rearranged to look like this. Let's just add the rest of the equation in. We've got an 8 times 3 to the power of m. We have our minus 35, and that's equal to 0. So if you look at this, this equation here, which was from the previous part of this question, it now looks very similar. We have 3 times something squared plus 8 times the something, and then the minus 35. So I'm going to say let y equal to 3 to the power of m. And I'm going to, re I'm going to rewrite this. So it's going to be 3y squared plus 8y minus 35 is equal to 0. Now, we know that 
um, if we were to solve this, we would find that y is equal to 7 over 3 and y is equal to minus 5. So in other words, our y here, 3 to the power of m, 3 to the power of m then must be equal to 7 over 3, or our 3 to the power of m must be equal to minus 5. Okay, so let's have a look at these two. Now, if we look at this one here, you can't raise 3 to the power of anything uh, to give you a negative number here, so there's no solution here. There's no solution here, so we can forget about this one. So we've got to look at solving this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just simply get the log of both sides. Now, if you just have a look back up here again at the question that we were asked, it says give your answer in the form you have got to work out what m is, give your answer in the form log to the base 3. So what I'm going to do down here is find the log of both sides, but the log is going to be to the base 3. So let's just work through that. So uh, let's get the log of both sides. So I'm going to get the log to the base 3 of the left hand side, and that's equal to the log to the base 3 of the right hand side bring the m down, that gives me m log 3 is equal to log 7 over 3 to the base 3. Now this is to the base 3 here. Remember that log 3 to the base 3 is just 1. So really that's just m on the left hand side. Log, I have log 7 to the base 3 minus log 3 to the base 3. Remember when you're dividing, when you're getting the log of a fraction, you can split it up like this. It's one of the laws of logs. Finally, then we have the log of 7 to the base 3 minus log 3 to the base 3, which is 1. So this is my solution here. Uh, in this case, it's said as well that p and q are elements of n, and we can see here that our p and q here are both natural numbers. Okay, so that's it for this particular question.